Hi, everybody. All right, we're just hanging out waiting. Um, I know it takes some people a few minutes to get on, so we'll start here in just a couple of minutes. Um, today, we're going to be doing um, stories and songs all about shapes. So we'll give it just a couple of more minutes, and then we'll get started. Hope everybody's doing good today. You know, we have been enjoying the uh, gorgeous weather outside today. Scarlett and I sat outside and worked for a while. Um, she's been playing in the mud. She's had probably five baths this week already. And um, already had a bath this morning from playing in mud. She's been having a blast. It's been the nice thing about the rain is that we have lots and lots of mud puddles to keep her busy as I, as I type in the morning. Hi, Kate. Hi, sweet pea. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so for those of you joining us, you can, um, <laughs> you can send comments my way. I don't set these as kids only videos because with, um, doing that way, it uh, makes it so comments aren't allowed, um, which is a great thing to have as an option, but I love seeing comments. So as we are reading, please interact. I would love to see who's here. Oh, hi, Elka. At first I thought it said Elka said help, but I was like, oh no. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good, Dana. I can only imagine she is keeping you busy. And lots of fun stories. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this will stay up for um, at least 24 hours. Um, both of the publishers of the books that we are reading today ask that these don't stay up for more than 24 hours. <laughs> but um, my hope is to get their permission to keep them up at least through the end of June um, publicly. If not, they'll be unlisted and I'll have the teachers send out the link to the video that we can revisit the stories and the game. All right, so we're gonna start with patting our laps again today. So get those hands patting. Come on, everybody, and pat. Friends, let's get started. We're gonna start with our ABCs again today. So we're gonna get those hands out if you wanna do sign language, but make sure you're singing with that wonderful singing voice of yours. All right, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. And families, you can find um, YouTube tutorials on how to do the ABCs in sign language on, on YouTube. Um, and they're really helpful. I love doing it because it makes singing the ABCs fun and interactive. You can change your voice when you sing it. Um, and it's great for all preschool ages and infants and toddlers. All right. So our first book today is going to be Mouse Shapes. And here it is. There's Mouse Shapes. And the author of our book, and remember, the author is the person who writes the words, is Ellen Stoll Walsh. And she's the only name on our cover. So what do we know? We know that that means she's also the illustrator, so she does both. Hi, Zach. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Oh, no. Let's hide in here, said Martin. What are they hiding inside of? That's right, they're hiding in a bunch of shapes. Hi, Aya. After a while, Fred said, after a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in a bunch of shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. So different shapes put together make something new. Here's a square and a triangle on top makes it the perfect house for a little mouse. So look at that, they took their square and their triangle and they made a house. A triangle 
there's a string triangle and a rectangle. There's that orange rectangle. Make a, a tree, a tree, that's right. And look at this, a yellow circle would be perfect for the, what would we use a yellow circle for? The sun, that's right. The circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. So some of these triangles, look at this one, this is long and fat. This one's tall and skinny. These are smaller, some of them are bigger, some of them are really long and skinny. Fred put two circles on a rectangle, two circles on a rectangle and said, it's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. And look, two diamonds make a, what are we reading? A book, that's right, make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. And here is one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a, what? It's a fish, that's right. Watch out, the cat likes a fish, said Violet. Oh no, hopefully that cat does not come back. Oh, hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose and Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Why do you think this fake cat would be better than the real cat? It doesn't want to eat them, right? The fake cat does not want to eat those mice. Just then, the real cat pounced. It jumped at them. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. Hmm, what do you think Fred's idea might be? Hmm, share those ideas with your families. All right, let's find out. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big, scary mice. Oh man, do you think these are gonna scare the cat away? If I were a cat, I think I would feel a bit nervous if I saw those. And surprised the cat. Oh, look at that cat's surprised face. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. Hmm, what shape would you need for some Swiss cheese? A triangle, that's right, a triangle. <gasps> so they did. And look at, you also need, you needed a triangle. And then look at these shapes here that it make the holes for it to be Swiss cheese. <laughs> they use lots of circles. The end. All right, friends. So we just read a story about mice using shapes. And one of the shapes, one of the things they made with their shapes was a house. So now I thought we would play a game with shapes. And a mouse. So any of my preschool friends who are in here, you might remember our game that we play in story time called Mr. Fox. What color is your box? This time we're gonna play Little Mouse. What shape is your house? So here's our friend, Little Mouse. She says, hello, squeak, 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 squeak. And she is ready to hide. So I need you to help me. Ready? Say, I'm gonna hide the story. We're gonna count to three. Ready? One, two, three. All right, help me call her. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, what shape is your house? Hmm. In our mouse is hiding in a house that has three sides. Which shape has three sides? That's right. <gasps> it's the triangle. We found her. Nice work. All right. Ready? Count to three. 
One, two, three. <gasps> Color, little mouse, little mouse. What shape is your house? All right, little mouse's house is the shape of an egg. What shape is an egg? Hmm, that's right, it's an oval. <gasps> and is little mouse under that oval? She is, we found her again. Nice work, friends. All right, ready? One, two, three. Ready? Little mouse, little mouse. What shape is your house? This time, little mouse is under the shape that we see at night when it gets dark. What shape is in the sky at night when it gets dark? Hmm. Stars, that's right. And look at, oh, there she is. Nice work, friends. All right, I thought we would do one more. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, where's little mouse? All right, little mouse is in a shape that has four sides. Hmm, let's see, does a circle have four sides? No. What about a star? Nope. An oval? No. What about the rectangle? Yes. What about the square? Yes. What about the diamond? One, two, three, four. <gasps> They all three have four sides. So let's do another clue. Let's see if you can figure this one out. The little mouse is in a shape with four sides. The sides are all the same and it looks like a box. Hmm. Do we usually see diamond boxes? No, the sides are the same, but we don't usually see diamond boxes. Let's look at the rectangle. Do we see rectangle boxes a lot? We do. But are the sides the same size? No, these sides are short and these sides are long. So what about the, what about the square? Do you think she's under the square? Let's see, let's look and see if it meets our, meets our things, meets our clues. Is the square a box? Yes. Are the sides the same? They are, they're all equal. Let's see if she's under there. There she is. Nice work, friends. All right. We're going to put little mouse back down here on the floor. I have to keep my easel up high because it's one of Scarlett's favorite things to play with when she comes upstairs in the morning. She wakes up, so we have to keep it hidden. All right, my friends, we're going to read, or we're going to do a snub one more song, and then we're going to read a book. And then I have some ideas for you to work on at home this week. All right, my friends, you're going to help me with this song by pulling out your finger. We're going to pull out our finger. And we're going to use three of the shapes. We're going to sing a song about three of our shapes that we were just playing with. All right. And you're going to help me make these shapes in the air. So you're going to use your magic drawing finger. Here it is. And you're going to make the shapes in the air as we sing this song. All right. Our first shape is the, the circle. That's right. And it goes like this. A circle's like a ball. A circle's like a ball. Round and round, it never stops. A circle's like a ball. Can you make that circle in, your, in the air? Good job. We're going to sing it one more time together. A circle's like a ball. A circle's like a ball. Round and round, it never stops. The circle's like a ball. Nice work. All right, our next shape, look at this. It's a, a square. That's right, get that magic finger out again. Ready? A square is like a box. A square is like a box. It has four sides, they are the same. A square is like a box. Nice work. All right, and our last one that we're going to do is the, the triangle, the triangle, and it has one, two, three sides. It goes like this. A triangle has three sides. 
A triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back. A triangle has three sides. All right, nice work. And you can practice those. You can draw them in the air. You can draw them on paper or on your, if you have a chalkboard. You can have so much fun with shapes. They're even fun to make when you're in the bathtub. Scarlett and I like to make them in the bubbles. All right, my friends, we're going to read the next story. It's one of my very favorite stories. We read this one a lot in preschool story time. But first, let's look at the cover. Something is missing on our cover. So remember, when we started this book, I read what? I read the title. I had words on our cover to read the title. But do I have words on the cover of this one? No. So the front cover is just the illustration. It's our character. Hmm. What about the back cover? There are words. Here are the words. But that just tells me about the book. There's no title there. So where could I look for the title now? On the outside of our book. I can look at the spine. I can look at the spine. And our spine does tell us the title. It says the title of this book is Circle. Circle. And it also says that the author is Mac Barnett. And the illustrator is John Klassen. And oh, I forgot to give my little disclaimer here to the publishers. This um, Mouse Shapes is by Harcourt Press. And it was read with their permission. And Circle is by Candlewick Press. And it's read with their permission as well. And if you have um, social media parents, Instagram's, uh, Mac Barnett's Instagram account is fabulous. He is reading all of his books every day. He reads a new book. I don't do this one as much justice as he does, um, but he is fabulous and he encourages everybody to wear a hat, whether it's a real hat or a made up hat. He even had started the thing where people were wearing book hats to all of the book clubs. Um, so it's very fun and they're live for 24 hours on Instagram. So if you are looking for a fun place to do a story um, or some screen time that you feel a little less guilty about, because I know we're getting way too much here right now, um, that's a good place to go. All right, we're gonna get started on circle. This is circle. And this is circle's waterfall. One day, circle and square and triangle played a game near her waterfall. Here are the rules, circle said. I will close my eyes and count to 10. You must hide somewhere. When I open my eyes, I will try to find you. Square said, okay. Triangle said, never. <gasps> oh, triangle. Mm. There is one more rule, said Circle. No hiding behind the waterfall. Square said, okay. Triangle said, why not? Because, said Circle, it's dark back there. Square said, okay. Triangle said, I'm not afraid of the dark. <gasps> Do you think Triangle is going to listen to these rules? I don't either. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Circle closed her eyes and counted to 10. Ready or not, said Circle, here I come. All right, here comes Circle. When she opened her eyes, Square was just standing there. He pointed and said, try and go in behind the waterfall. <gasps> did Circle listen? Did Triangle listen? She did not. Oh, Triangle. Circle sighed. <sighs> I will go find him. Circle said Square, you are very brave. I know, Circle said, and she slipped behind the waterfall. My goodness. It was quiet on the other side of the waterfall and Circle called out, Triangle, Triangle, where are you? There was no answer. Look how dark it is. Just a little bit of light is getting in. Farther inside, there was not much light. Triangle, Triangle, where are you? There was no answer. She went even farther. Look at how dark it's getting. 
Can you see anything on that page? I don't think either. <gasps> Until it was all dark. Circle's gone so far that there's no light left. Triangle, said Circle, there you are. Why do you always break all the rules? There was no answer. Why do you always spoil our fun? There was no answer. Why are you such a bad friend? There was no answer. Those were some really hard words that Circle used. Do you think, how do you think Circle's gonna feel about that? Let's see. I'm sorry, said Circle. He should not have said that. You are a good friend. You just made us worried. I love you, Triangle. So Circle realized that the words she used were really, really hard. And so she checked on Triangle. She said, you are a good friend. And she said, this is why I was so mad. You made me feel worried. Thanks, Triangle said from behind her. So here are Circle's eyes. And here are Triangle's eyes. These are the eyes that Circle's been talking to. Circle turned around and said, Triangle? Yes, said Triangle. I am sure glad to see you in Square. Circle said, Square is outside. This is not Square. I thought it was you. No, said Triangle. That is not me. No, said Circle. Oh, said Triangle. <gasps> Who do you think it is? I don't know. Circle turned back and faced the shape in the dark. Who are you? She asked. There was no answer. Ah! Said Triangle. Triangle and Circle ran very fast back through the dark. Back through where there was not much light. And back through the waterfall. Back to the outside. Square was waiting there for them. They told him what had happened. Well, Square said, I am glad I stay here. Triangle said, now I'm afraid of the dark. Circle looked back at the waterfall falling. You know, she said, that shape in the dark might not have been bad. It might have been a good shape. We just could not see it. Circle closed her eyes. I wonder, Circle said, what kind of shape was it? Hmm. Then they all closed their eyes and they each pictured a shape. If you close your eyes, what shape do you picture? The end. All right, friends. So now I want you to go with your family and I want you, oh, hey Titan. I want you to close your eyes and think about what shape you think was behind the waterfall. Was it another circle, another triangle, another square? Was it a, was it a star or a rectangle? Maybe it was an oval or a diamond. It's up to you or it could be a different shape, a shape you make up. It's all up to you and your imagination. And then family is another great way. Enough, the weather is getting so nice. And I know if you're anything like us, you are going stir crazy in the house. Um, remember, it is safe to take walks, just not go to playgrounds, which has been one of the hardest thing for us. Um, Scarlett's favorite thing to do is to go to the playground and climb. And it's one of my favorite ways to wear her out. But we have been going and chasing squirrels and going on scavenger hunts through the neighborhood. So I would recommend going on a sheep scavenger hunt and seeing what you can see in different shapes um, as this weather is so, so nice out finally. And hopefully after our cold snap on Friday, we get nice weather for a while again. Help us get through all this time. All right, thank you guys so much for coming and joining me today for story time. I will see you next week. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for um, other amazing videos by all the classroom teachers. Um, and I know Scarlett and I are gonna be doing some bedtime stories tonight and we'll be posting those those either tomorrow or Friday. So keep an eye out, like, subscribe, all the other YouTube jargon that I am not very good at. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next week. Bye everybody.